Well, hepatitis C is really at a crossroads. I think this is an extraordinarily exciting time for patients infected with hepatitis C and the healthcare providers that treat them. We've spent years of struggling with this disease with some successes, the ability to eradicate or cure hepatitis C in now 75% of patients treated with genotypes one, two, and three. The problem has always been, however, the toxicity or side effects of therapy. Over the next year or two, we expect to see major advances in both the ability to cure, that is high rates of response in the neighborhood of 80 to 90% for many patients infected with this disease, but more importantly, a therapy that has less side effects. We now have the rapid development of oral, multi-dose combination regimens without interferon. If these are successful, we'll have safe, tolerable and effective therapies that now really open the door, which has been closed to so many people who can't tolerate or don't want to tolerate the side effects of an interferon-based regimen. So really, I envision a paradigm shift where we'll move from a time in which we evaluate patients and carefully weigh the risks and benefits of a interferon ribavirin to lapidobacephira regimen for genes like one, and we'll now say, you have hepatitis C, it's this genotype, let's discuss whether we use regimen A or regimen B, and perhaps treating and curing in 12 or 24 weeks. And I think once the therapies become easier, we'll see this paradigm shift where it's test, treat, cure in a much more rapid, clear-cut fashion.